You never think it's going to happen to you until it does. Several people say they learned the hard way that their checks mailed through post office drop boxes were not safe. As KCTV 5's Emily Rittman reports, a man is now charged with forgery, accused of washing their checks to cash in. Several victims mailed their checks using this USPS box off of 24 Highway. Soon they learned their checks never made it to the right place. That's usually the way I sign it. After Evelyn Blake signed a check to pay Independence Power and Light, she dropped it off at a USPS box like she always had and assumed it was safe. Then she got a notice saying her bill was unpaid. Well, I wondered why, because I knew I had mailed it. Evelyn went to her bank to find out what went wrong. They said, oh, this check is made out to Christopher Mott. I said, I don't know him. And that's kind of scary. Brian Lucy was also asked if he wrote a check to Mort after his bank spotted possible fraudulent activity. I said, no, I do not know this person. Brian says a check written to pay a visa bill was altered and cashed by Mort. They use chemicals to basically erase the ink marks on the check. Christopher Mort is now charged with four counts of forgery, accused of stealing checks sent in the mail, then altering them to increase the amount and make the check out to himself. He used auto deposits, so he took the check image, took it on his phone, so there's no real examination of the check surface as there used to be back in the days. Evelyn doesn't trust mailing payments anymore. She drives to make her utility payments in person. Frustrating? Yes, because it took me a while to get, to get the light company paid up for what I owed. My money's my money, and it's hard to come by. We only have our Social Security. Court records do not reveal how investigators believe Mort got the mail out of the USPS drop boxes. Brian believes he may have figured yes. it out. Now I checked the post office boxes, as I mentioned earlier. I now and I have found that people are tampering with some of the local boxes and putting uh, adhesives or glue, uh, sticky uh, substances on the intake. He can't say for sure, but wonders if Mort used a similar sticky tactic on the slots of USPS boxes and recommends examining the slot before mailing checks. Mort, who pleaded guilty to failing to register as a sex offender after being convicted of statutory rape, is also charged with trafficking and stolen identities in a separate case. Reporting from Independence, Emily Rittman, KCTV5 News.